Welcome to the big word with our only ladies and gentlemen. Christmas is arguably the happiest time of the year for Christians across the world. In the Christian faith, it celebrates God's love, forgiveness of sins, and salvation of a fallen world through Jesus Christ, and is coming into the world to be the light in the darkness. People of the faith celebrate the birth of Christ in ways that are unrivaled by any, perhaps any other emotional or financial investment during the year. But of course, the modern world has also been liberal to incorporate various elements that necessarily might not be considered Christian tradition. For instance, there are historical arguments that say many practices being followed during Christmas are pagan or non-biblical, while some say they are merely joyful expressions of happiness. In the studio with me is Pastor Visasir Kevichusa of Kingdom Culture Church in Dimapur. We will be exploring Christmas's early representations and whether some of the most visible elements of Christmas festivities are true to the faith. Welcome to our show, Pastor. Thank you. We, we have been very excited to have you here, actually. And the reason was that, of course, we're in the middle of Christmas yeah. and everyone is busy. But then again, uh, we have been uh, very much conscious of how we celebrate Christmas, you know. Yeah. There are a lot of people who say this is not Christian, that is Christian. But anyway, before we get into the topic, uh, how, how is the church, Kingdom Culture Church, how is everyone there? We're doing good. Yeah. yeah. Um, we just celebrated our 10th anniversary. 10th um, anniversary. Yep. Yeah, it was an exciting moment. A lot of people came together and uh, yeah, I heard. Was, uh, we had a lot of fun. It was good. Yeah. God's, God's been good. God's been gracious to us Wonderful. over the years. and. Uh, We've just experienced and seen a lot of God's grace in our journey of 10 years. Yep. So uh, I, uh, someone told me, I think it started somewhere in the corner of uh, Christian, Christian Higher Secondary School, right? KCC? We, we, we were actually, we, we started in a, um, in a little room um, that uh, um, si the Sinai ministry. Sinai they, ministry. Yes. they had That's their good. ministry there. Uh -huh. And of course, they also now have a new building. Mm -hmm. But they used to be there, and uh, we started there actually. Mm, mm, mm. And then from there, we moved to a cafe on um, Nyamolota Road, uh, also called Church Road. Okay. So we w we were there, and uh, currently we are in, uh, in the Norton Busti area. Oh, ten years. It's been a wonderful journey for the church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I remember Eva. Is Eva still there? Eva yeah, yeah, she is, she is very much. Yeah, <laughs> she. she uh, I remember yeah. her. You know. We were messaging on Instagram. I see. And I remember that night she said, Why don't you come over to our church? And right, she said, right. Kingdom Culture Church. And I was like, yeah. I've never heard of that church in my life. Oh, before before you came. Yeah, yeah, before. Okay, I see, I see, yeah. So it was actually Eva who asked me there. I see. I and see. then I came there. I, I met Eva. Bobby was there. Right. And right. then Aaron yeah. Zeng. Yeah. And of course, Pastor, uh, Pastor Kevi was there. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it, it's been a wonderful journey. I, I miss the church. Well, what are you guys doing for Christmas? Uh, the usual, we, some people had a um, bonfire uh, celebration last night. Mm -hmm, uh, I mm -hmm. couldn't attend. Mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow we are having our annual potluck. Uh, that's, what, that's what we do every year. It's, a, it's become a tradition. <laughs> yeah, I remember uh, the potluck at your place. Right, right. I think it was yeah. three years ago. Probably, yeah. We, 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 well, we do it every year. Yeah. We do it. Yeah, I'm missing yeah. out on this. So that's going to be tomorrow. You're welcome. <laughs> I wish I could come over. Yeah, I mean, if not for work, where, where are you going to have the potluck? Like lots uh, of pork? Same, same place. Our, our place in Burma Camp. Oh. And uh, yeah, so the whole church is going to come together. We're just going to eat and wow. bonfire. Yeah. I, I'll miss the pork there. Uh, Bobby was, uh, Bobby was uh, asking me whether I, should be ab I will be able to make it for the potluck. I see. A and I, see. I told her, we live near Florida, you know, near uh, Gohati uh, uh, in Assam, you know. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, but anyway, I hope you have fun. Yeah, uh, 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 we, have we have already briefed you about the topic that right, we'll be talking right. about. And Christmas, I think it's a wonderful, wonderful time of the year. Yeah, and but I'm nervous about the topic, actually. No, but anyway, yeah. No, no, no <laughs> I mean, I, I think this is going to be fun because um, I believe you being a leader of the church, there are a lot of things that even I, as a Christian, Nom uh, just a nominal Christian, but it, there's still a lot of things that I don't know about Christmas too. Uh -huh. so, do you have Christmas trees in your church, uh, Pastor? We do. 
We do. We, okay. we do. We actually have three. <laughs> so um, I know. So, I know some people have <laughs> objections to oh. having a Christmas tree. Mm. Um, mm. Uh, we have three. three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one inside mm. uh, in the sanctuary. One in the lobby. One in the mm. children's section. Mm. So. No, yeah. I, mom wanted to have Christmas tree, you know, but I think it's been three or four years. We haven't really put up a Christmas tree. We I put see, up lights also. Why are people objecting, Pastor? Um, uh, that, I mean, that there's, that there's a lot of stories. Mm -hmm. uh, I think a lot of uh, history behind the Christmas tree. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, that uh, it has a lot of uh, pagan origins and uh, that it is never found in the Bible, mm -hmm. uh, that Jesus never told us to have a mm -hmm. Christmas tree or the apostles never did anything like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and I'm sure, uh, I, mean, I mean, I do believe that uh, mm -hmm. it was adopted from uh, mm -hmm. certain pagan practices into the church or by Christians. And um, uh, there's a lot of debate about mm. whether Christians mm. should have a tree at home in the church or not. And, um, so, uh, has there are different opinions. Yeah, so has any member from KCC uh, raised an objection? Like, oh, no. we're not going to put no. up a Christmas tree this I, year. I have not heard anyone, <laughs> and uh, I, I, I don't <laughs> think anyone is a problem. Um, I think yeah, so, yeah. because we're so used to it. Right, right. Yeah. 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 Uh, Pastor, who is a uh, who is a Bacon? Who is a who is a Bacon? What, what, who are the Bacchans? Uh, I mean, we hear of Bacchans, but yeah, who are they? Yeah. Um, I think generally, uh, the, the word pagan mm. is, is a word I don't actually like. Okay. Um, but I, I think generally it refers to somebody who is not a member of um, one of the major world religions. All right, okay. Um, as far as I know, and my knowledge is actually limited in mm -hmm. this area, mm -hmm. But as far as I know, I think it is Christians who mm. use this word more than others. Um, I could okay. be wrong, but Pla that's, that's my explain, understanding. Explain, explain, explain. And so I think mm. it, so while people would say it is like somebody who is not a member of a mm. major world religion, mm. I think Christians would even go further and say it is anybody who is not a Christian. Who is, who doesn't believe in God right, or Christ. Right, uh, I, I, In fact, I, I read this that, um, in Latin, mm. uh, the word pagan uh, can also be translated as translated as civilian. Oh. And uh, so, under the Roman Empire, mm -hmm. when Christianity became the official religion of, you mm. know, the Roman Empire, mm. uh, Christians considered themselves soldiers of Christ. And so, oh. everyone else okay. was a civilian, I and therefore a pagan. I don't know how accurate that is, okay. but some people say that. Uh, I uh, see. Because uh, in my mind, Pastor, I always thought that a pagan was someone who did not follow the Christian tradition yeah. in faith. Yeah. So I was thinking, oh, if you're not a Christian or you're a pagan, yeah, <laughs> that, yeah. was the, uh, that was uh, what I, I used to I think, think. I think Christians usually understand it like that. I see. Um, uh, I think uh, another um, category would be people who uh, maybe worship nature um, okay. uh, or maybe even animists mm -hmm, uh, you mm -hmm. know people worship all kinds of spirits uh, they see. are also considered pagan uh, I see. But, but like I said it's it's a word I I don't use it's not in my vocabulary mm -hmm, I, mm -hmm. um, <coughs> but oh. that's how it's used yeah okay so uh, it's interesting that you mentioned uh, people who worship, uh, worship nature yeah. and also uh, animists. Yeah. Right. And if you look at uh, some <coughs> of the elements of uh, uh, celebration, expre expressions of celebrations in during Christmas time, mm. I think you, we will see all these uh, Christmas trees, <coughs> mistletoes, right, right. holy. You know, these are right. something from pastoral traditions. And we have reindeers and el elephants. Yeah, yeah, and all, yeah. Where do you think elephants all this came I've from? I've never, I've never Seen elephant? No, not elephant. Like I'm just trying to make it. <laughs> 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 I'm, just, right, I'm, just, right. I'm just trying to explain how we have uh, animals on our trees too. How, where does it come from? I, I'm not sure actually, mm -hmm. but but like I think the tree mistletoe, mm. um, some of these things, reindeer. I mm. I'm sure they have a lot of 
history behind all of that. Mm, yeah. And uh, I, I don't think they originated from the church. I think they were adopted by the church okay. or by Christians. Mm -hmm. um, I think there are a lot of these things I think fall under legends, some could be myths, um, all kinds of stories. Uh, I, you know, in, in the little history that I read, even mm -hmm. about the Christmas tree, mm. uh, there are different versions okay. of how the Christmas tree came into mm -hmm. uh, the the tree mm -hmm. came into the Christmas mm -hmm. story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know which is accurate. And, uh, okay. you know, it's, um, these are just like maybe they are fables. Maybe, I, I don't know. I'm, but I'm sure there is some historical historical story behind all of them. But uh, uh, that, yeah. that is not really my area of expertise. Uh, like, I'm not a historian. So yeah, <laughs> uh, I think uh, the, the whole debate of whether uh, <coughs> uh, the use of Christmas tree is actually Christian, I think this is the single most, uh, in fact, it takes up a lot of the space of debate when we mm -hmm. talk about Christmas, Christmas trees. Right. And right. even when we hang up our Christmas stars, yeah. I think they say that this is actually not a Christian. This is not a Christian tradition. Yeah. So uh, the whole space has been taken by our wreaths, yeah. and also our stars, and also the Christmas trees and the trees that we put up. Yeah. Now, um, um, and the Christian scholar Tertullian, yeah. he wrote that uh, way back in 190 and two, uh, 220 uh, AD. Christians were like actually using a lot of wreaths and laurels than. Mm, pagans were doing during that time, I which see. means Christian, like we Christians did not steal anything from anyone. It's actually us we, who started it. That's what the Christian okay. scholars say. But that, does mm. he refer to yeah. uh, uh, the Christmas tree, or is he talking about just he he's talking wreaths. about wreaths and lor uh, uh, okay. laurels because these are not particularly trees, yeah. but they are nature based. Right, they are something that we use to incorporate our uh, you know our love for nature within our celebrations. Yeah. So he refers to them. So, but then again, uh, Pastor, is it is it? Let's say it's a pagan culture. Right. Let's say we stole it from someone else. <laughs> stole it. <laughs> is it? Is it? Is it? Bad. Is it okay? As yeah. a Christian, uh -huh. is it? Uh -huh. um, see, I, I, I think that the, the way Christianity was spreading, uh, um, a, a lot of people who worshipped all kinds of things mm -hmm. were uh, being converted to Christianity. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And see, in a, in a situation like that, I think it is pretty safe to assume that they would bring in some of their uh, cultural practices mm -hmm. into their new faith. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, I, I personally, for me, I don't see anything wrong with that okay. as long as it is not something that is anti-Christ, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, as long as it is something that is not harmful to others, mm -hmm. um, then I think I think it's okay. okay. Like just decorating a tree, mm -hmm. I, I think is absolutely absolutely fine uh, okay. i mean it is nothing against christ okay. it has nothing okay. against the church okay and i think we, we can just celebrate okay. you know I, I, I mean i was thinking that mm. uh, christmas is here you know here in the sense like christmas is in our lives the whole yes. celebration of christmas is here mm -hmm. and we are not going to be able to do away with it yeah and that so I, I think we just we just enjoy it, mm, and mm, we just mm. celebrate it in the spirit of, not just spirit of Christmas, but in the spirit of Christ. Mm, mm. And um, uh, we take it as an opportunity to really put into practice, you know, the teachings of Christ, mm. the lifestyle of Christ. And I think it's great. This whole debate about whether it is actually the 25th December or not, I think mm. Uh, while it makes for interesting debate, I think those are not really relevant mm -hmm. uh, as, as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what, what is relevant here, Pastor? Because uh, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll just give a premise for my question. Right. Uh, winter solstice, yeah. the people said that there was no Christmas, there was no 25th December right, those days. Right. Probably it was, not. <laughs> it was actually a pagan celebration right, right. that early Christians yeah. incorporated into their festival in the celebration of yeah. Christ and that's how it became Christmas. I think so. I think so. I think I think um, originally the, the pagan festival celebrated mm -hmm. um, uh, 
what was it the birth of their sun god i think so they celebrated the the sun i think i i think it was a, a, a saturnula that was a pagan god mm -hmm. if i'm not mistaken okay. it was it was celebration of one of the uh, planets i see yeah yeah so I anyhow see. please continue yeah. yeah so i think christians just took that and uh, i think they turned it into you know uh, celebrating the birth of christ and uh, li like i said these are obviously people who used to worship that and now they are mm. christians mm. and so instead of that now they oh. are now you know y using the same date maybe the same season okay. uh, to worship christ and i think more than just saying it's okay to do that i i, I tend to think it's quite brilliant actually yeah so, so <laughs> is, is it something like uh, the lotus we celebrate to Kui Mong, for example? Okay. So now, this is actually a celebration that goes back to the time when Christ was not known, when Christianity was not there. It's actually a very. Uh, I see. It's okay. it's not a modern festival. Okay. But then uh, again, uh, when we celebrate to Kui Mong, we don't worship or we don't pray to stones and animals. Right. Or we use the name of Christ. Okay. So is this something like that, according to what you are saying? Uh, probably, I I have never. Attended the the mm. Lotha festival. You should so come. I, I, I'm, I'm <laughs> Our park. <laughs> okay, I have an invitation <laughs> now, uh, but so I'm not sure exactly what goes on. But mm. but um, I mean, with with, with Christianity mm. the way it is in Nagaland, mm. you know, and uh, I, I'm sure uh, the same people. I'm mm. sure almost all would be church mm. people. Mm. Uh, would not be worshiping stones and trees. Um, right. Uh, and and to, to be able to turn it around and and honor Christ, mm, is, mm. I, I think that's wonderful. Um, you, you know, um, um, just to give you an example, mm. I, I think mm. the people in the early church did that. Okay. Uh, how, for, how? for example, mm. even with what we call the Lord's Supper. Mm, mm. So the Lord's Supper is actually, uh, it is... Uh, obviously, Christ celebrated it at the Last Supper with mm -hmm. his disciples, borrowing from the Jewish Passover. Mm -hmm. And the church has practiced that over the years. But in the early church, it was not just the adaptation from the Passover meal that Moses had with, mm -hmm. the, with the children of mm -hmm. Israel. Um, but I think the, Christ the early church also adopted the Roman practice of mm -hmm. the Roman banquet. Mm -hmm. And um, so the Romans would have that they would throw these parties, these banquets, you mm. know, they would use wine, they would eat a lot. And, mm. um, but they changed it, they modified it a little bit, the, the Christians. I see. And so what, see. what it would be like, for example, uh, somebody called Marcus is hosting mm. uh, the banquet. Was, mm. uh, so it would be called Marcus's Supper. Oh, okay. But now, okay. when Marcus becomes a Christian, mm. it would never be called Marcus's Supper. It would be called the Lord's Supper. So I while see. it would be done in the home of Marcus, mm. it is always considered that Christ mm. is the one who is hosting it. Okay. Uh, in the Roman okay. banquet, it, yeah. in the Roman banquet, um, uh, all glory was given to the Roman Empire. Mm -hmm. Mm. But when they come together in the Lord's mm. Supper, it is not to any Roman Empire, it is not to Caesar, mm. but they would celebrate the kingdom of God. Mm. Mm. And they would celebrate Christ mm. as their new king. And so it was actually a very revolutionary thing they were mm. doing, very anti-national thing they were doing actually. Mm. Mm. Um, and also uh, in the Roman banquet, uh, only the men mm. were allowed to attend. Slaves were not allowed, women were not allowed, very wealthy women exception could be made for them okay. but in the Christian Lord's Supper even that was changed mm -hmm. so like um, men and women could come slaves could come wealthy people could come mm -hmm. and they would sit around the table and they would eat together mm. they would call one another brother and sister so how Christianity took the Roman banquet but modified it mm. And brought the whole spirit of Christ mm, into that, mm. and so the early church did that, and I think it's okay for us to do that. Um, as long as even with Christmas, yeah. Okay, as, so uh, uh, the whole idea is as long as your heart is in the right place, is yeah. it okay, right? Or y yeah, I, I mean that's. Mm. Uh, 
I, I think it's okay to say that mm -hmm. <coughs> as long as your heart is in the right place. Mm -hmm. But uh, but I think also um, uh, s sometimes we can be well-meaning and uh, end up end up doing the wrong things. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, so, so mm. being well-meaning is good, but I think also um, knowing certain Christian truths mm. and actually bringing them into that, mm -hmm. you know, mm. so being intentional about mm. understanding who Christ is and mm. what did he teach us, uh, what is his spirit like, you mm. know, what, what mm. kind of life did he live and actually to, to live that out and to celebrate that, mm. especially during a time like Christmas. Mm. Uh, for example, um, uh, one thing we see in the life of Christ was a life of uh, sacrifice. Mm. 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 Uh, not, not animal sacrifice mm. and stuff like that, but that's basically laying down his life mm. for others, serving others. Let, let's put it like that, serving others. Uh, that's a wonderful thing we can practice during Christmas. Mm. We can mm. serve others uh, and we can be intentional about that. We can be generous. Uh, we can have joy. Uh, okay. So you know. basically, uh, the whole idea is not to have just good intentions. Your good intentions must also be grounded in biblical truth. Is that what uh, you that, mean? That, that, that's how I would. Okay. So yeah, what, do, what, yeah, yeah. The, what does what does the Bible say about pastor celebrating Christmas or Esther or New yeah. Year's in the right way? What does the Bible say about celebrating? What is the right way to celebrate? I think we we always keep the main thing the main thing mm -hmm. uh, which for us as Christians and as mm -hmm. the church would mm -hmm. be Christ um, and as long as Christ is the focus the teaching of Christ the life mm -hmm. of Christ uh, mm -hmm. the person of Christ uh, then I think we are we are on good ground mm -hmm. uh, how we express that can, can differ okay. you know in, in so, some people like to have it very loud and sing a lot of songs mm -hmm. and celebrate that's fine some people want to sit quietly at home mm. with, you know, just the family and do it. Yes. And that, that is also fine uh, as long as the focus is Christ. And mm. uh, I think we are good. Do, do you think uh, the early Christians uh, celebrated Christmas like yeah. we do now? Do you think? Because uh, there was, uh, I think I read uh, something about this uh, in, a, in a bit of article. Mm. Uh, initially, it was a worship of... Uh, uh, Saturn, Saturnula. Okay. Yeah. So before they were Christians, they were used to worship in that festival. Okay. Mm. But once they became Christians, yeah. they were no longer followers of Saturn. Mm. But they used that, just like you said, they mm. used that and modified it into their belief system to celebrate right. Christ. Yeah. So uh, did they cre celebrate Christmas because they didn't have Christmas those days? Do you think that it? Probably. Probably, I, I think okay. if we look at the history, mm. uh, Saturnella, mm, uh, mm. Um, was was it to do with his birth? Uh, uh, I, it it uh, was uh, it was I think yeah with his birth. Since yeah, 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 birth, yeah. birth. So I yeah. think they wanted to celebrate birthday. Okay, if okay. I can put it like uh, that. Uh. So, I mean, who whose birthday would they celebrate if mm, not mm. you know the birth mm. of Christ and and the incarnation being such a major mm. um, right. doctrine right. Right? and it's so central to our whole faith mm -hmm. uh, why not celebrate the incarnation and of what Christ yeah yeah mm -hmm. and so what better way to do it than okay they are already celebrating something so mm -hmm. why not just bring it into our faith and mm -hmm. you know um, j just like we celebrate uh, Easter, the resurrection, mm, mm, we mm. observe Good Friday. Mm. Th those are momentous events in you know the the, mm, mm. In the history of the church or of, of Christianity. Um, why not the incarnation as well, mm, the birth mm. of Christ? Oh, okay, yeah. so uh, so uh, Pastor, uh, linking on to what you were saying, why not modify it so that it it it, it keeps our belief system in certain thing in the right perspective. Mm -hmm. We will s s celebrate Saturn, but we yeah. will celebrate Christ. Yeah. So now you're modifying it to your needs. So if you did that, where did December 25 uh, come from? Pastor, any idea? If, if I'm not mistaken, mm. uh, I think December 25th, that season was, uh, was already the date where 
you know, the, the non-Christians were celebrating whatever festival they were celebrating. And so I think that's how the date was also just kept I the see, same. I see. Um, but the okay. whole focus of the celebration was changed okay. from something else to Christ. Uh, okay, again, Pastor, is that right? Is it is right it? to do that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is, uh, <laughs> um, is that okay? You just you just pick up a date and say, "Oh, this uh, is when the Son of God was born." <laughs> Is that, is uh, okay? I, I, I'm just thankful I wasn't around <laughs> that time to make those decisions. Uh, you know, centuries removed from mm -hmm. when those practices came into mm -hmm. you know our our uh, our Christianity. Uh, we are now safely celebrating mm. uh, December 25th as Christmas, mm. and um, uh, just <laughs> just let's just stick to it. Let's just go along with it. Uh, I, I don't know whether it was right or not. Uh, to, to, yeah. Uh, but that's the way it's been done for centuries mm. now. Mm. Mm. I think it's, I think I think we are okay. <laughs> no, because I was thinking because uh, I think the Christian faith is uh, of course biblical. Yeah. You have to mm. stick to the truth that is uh, written in there. You have to adhere to it. So if you are going to adhere to the principles and the spirit of what the word says, mm. then I was thinking then wouldn't it also be natural for us to actually take into account the things we do and the festivals we celebrate? Which also includes, of course, the dates also, yeah, yeah. you know, and if the Bible says, hey, don't sacrifice on the day or don't put up this kind of decorations, yeah, I think we yeah. should also follow that. So if I say December 25th is the birth of Christ mm. and I believe in that, is that again, uh, Pastor, I keep asking this, is it right? Is it, is it the right thing uh, to do? I, I, think, I think we cannot know on okay. which day okay. mm. Christ was actually born mm. and uh, but we want to celebrate mm. so I, I think a date has already been picked for us we didn't choose the date our <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know the, uh, the people in the past did and mm. um, and well we, we have December 25th now and uh, yeah. I, I don't think anybody would want to change the date now even non-christians i don't i don't uh, think i, don't I think, think so. the, the whole world will be in chaos yeah. uh, trying to change uh, uh, yeah, uh, christmas date it struck my mind only now yeah. i was thinking you know yeah, because yeah. if you just appropriate some days or numbers yeah. and just use it to your conven convenience to yeah, express yeah. your happiness i was yeah. thinking hey that might not be really yeah, right it's, um, yeah but if somebody mm. somebody personally does not want to Mm. celebrate I, mm. I, I think I think it's up to them uh, they, they, if, they, if they say mm. um, the Bible never says it's December 25th mm. and, and so I will not celebrate it's, it's mm -hmm. you know it's okay fine um, yeah. but I don't think it's something to really debate over and mm -hmm. you know ar argue about uh, okay let those who want to celebrate celebrate those mm. who don't want to it's like it's fine you know okay. we still love you <laughs> <laughs> I'm just curious like because uh, this kind of debate seem to come mostly from lay people people like me you uh -huh. know we enjoy arguing with about all this <laughs> but we have never actually uh, maybe once I think it was way back 2002 2003 that I was with the youth department of Dipu Bar mm. so we went caroling and the speaker at the time uh, uh, she is the wife of the present Dibubar Baptist Church pastor. Okay. So she told us that, hey, uh, we shouldn't be doing this, you know. I, is it okay to identify <laughs> the person? Like no, 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 right, no. But no, she didn't say anything, uh, you know, like outright controversial. But uh, Christmas trees are mm. not part of our traditions. I see. Uh, hanging trinkets, ornaments, and putting yeah. up laurels, they are not. And that was actually the first time I ever wow. realized that maybe we might not be celebrating something really really christian mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. so a anyhow like uh we had uh we had talked about earlier pastor we are celebrating something that most probably was modified probably no. probably right yeah so it is still a perversion right or Oof. um do you think it's still a perversion? I I don't think there is anyone objecting, mm -hmm. apart from Christians. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's anyone, mm. uh, any non-Christian, mm. 
who is actually out there um, objecting, saying, hey, you Christians, you stole our festival. Mm-hmm. Um, so that means it gives us a premise of right to actually appropriate something else and make it ours. Your words. Yeah. <laughs> 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 because I'm really <laughs> curious, you know. Well, we don't have Christmas tree at home right now. Okay. Uh, we put are up some like <laughs> Okay. Okay. Are you going to put up? Not really. Yeah. Mom's uh, mom loves uh, the star, you know. Okay, okay. He loves that and the white lights. Yeah. But not really a big fan of Christmas. See, even mm. the even the even the star. Mm. Um, uh, there's so much debate over it. Like I, I want I, I want s- some people say you know we uh, the star looks the star looks like um, satanic. Uh, yeah, it's satanic it's mm. in they use in all these rituals mm. uh, some people say no uh, we read about a star in the sky when Christ mm. was born and yes. this is symbolic you know mm. um, signifying that that's that star we read about in the New Testament and so uh, both sides have their arguments mm. and for me it's like you want to put up a star go ahead you don't want to put up a star it's fine you mm. know there's mm. no judgment on anyone uh, let's let's just have the spirit of Christ in the cr- you know, mm. during this Christmas season. Let's love one another. Let's mm. rejoice. Mm. Let's be generous. Let's give. Learn to give. Yes, yes. Um, I think it's a good opportunity for us to practice giving. Mm, mm. Uh, sometimes we, we don't know how to give. And so we have to be taught how to give. Mm. We need uh, an occasion to give. And giving is good. And being generous is good. Mm, and mm. what better time than Christmas yeah, uh, to, to learn some of these habits, good mm, habits, mm, you know. Mm. Yeah, talk, talking of giving, uh, Pastor, I'm sorry to interview, uh, interrupt you there, but uh, I remember that we went uh, to the railway station uh-huh, together uh-huh. one time, <coughs> and I think right. that was heartbreaking for me. Uh, do, okay. do we think of good deeds only when we are celebrating Christmas, Pastor? Do we think of only? Good deeds. Good deeds. And Christ, uh, uh-huh. goodness only during Christmas? I, I hope not. I hope we think about good deeds throughout the year, mm, mm. not just Christmas. But maybe Christmas uh, time we do kind of wake up and say, hey, wait, wait a minute, it's Christmas and we should do something. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, which is not bad, but I think that should teach us to practice it more often. Mm-hmm. Um, like we, we, we don't like to, to talk about it or going to the train station, mm-hmm. but 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 we've actually been doing it for a, a lot of years now. Yes, I am. Um, but what we find now is that on Christmas Day, for example, we went on Christmas Day mm. last year to give food as mm. we as mm. we always do, mm. and we found that uh, four or five other groups had come before us mm. and already given the homeless people food. Okay. Wow. So now we say. Okay, on Christmas Day, our cooking team is going to take a break mm. because there are already too many parties. Yeah. And so, since we do it on other days as well, uh, let's just take a break on Christmas. I mean, they oh, don't okay. need seven yes. meals, six, seven meals a day. Right, Pastor. Know? Uh, so, yeah, it, it's a lot of work. Even yeah, during yeah. the time we went to the railway station together, I think you were there, Bopi, if everyone was right, there. Right, right, yeah. Uh, that was a lot of food. It is. It <laughs> it's Ke- Kezia, right, Kezia? Yeah, yeah, she's, she's there. Is, she's there. is she still there? Mm. Kezia, and who else? I remember they used to be the ones to cook <coughs> and make tea. Yeah, yeah. Kezia, Eva, and Aranzan. Yeah, yeah, Aranzan. yeah, yeah, yeah. What all are you cooking this Christmas? Uh, we are not going to the train station. Okay. We, we, in fact, today we are we are mm. arguing with some people about the menu for mm. our Christmas feast. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. I'm telling this is what I want. This is they, they are saying this is what they want. Anyway, right. Mm. I can I can say whatever I want, but it ultimately it's the person <laughs> in the kitchen. Uh, so <laughs> it, it, it's uh, Pastor Visa, right? Right. right. Oh, uh, Pastor Kevi. Pastor Kevi. What, yeah. What <laughs> what is she cooking right now uh, for Christmas? I <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she'll, she'll. I'm sure she'll make a lot of goodies. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, she and my daughter, they, they are really into baking. Baking. So I uh, say. Yeah, I'm you sure. You I'm you sure we'll eat a lot of baked stuff at home. <laughs> I was, a, I was a expecting pork. Uh, of course, pork, pork, pork will be there. Of tell, course. Tell, of course. tell the pastor <coughs> they leave out some pork for me too, or they can eat it for me on my. Sure, bed. sure. Yeah. Uh, pastor, what is the right way? 
just right way to celebrate Christmas because I'll tell you, I, I tell you this because mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we appropriate trends, mm -hmm. things that do not, we, the meaning of which we do not really understand and things that we follow and do because everyone else is doing. I saw <coughs> uh, a video on Facebook yeah. where the family mm -hmm. of <coughs> someone who was not Christian was actually yeah. putting up uh, Christmas trees and they were just celebrating a lot and they mm. were genuinely happy. Yeah. So now as a Christian, uh, leaving aside all the elements of celebration, the physical yeah. expression of celebrations, right. uh, what is the right, for, the right way for me to celebrate Christmas? Yeah. So I, I think as far as the whole world is concerned, like mm. celebrating Christmas, mm. I mean, you're, you're welcome, mm. you know, uh, Hindu, Muslim, mm. whatever, mm. you know, you want to celebrate Christmas, just join the celebrations. Mm, mm. Um, it, it's, it's wonderful, you know. Um, I think the world is a better place when everybody's celebrating. Uh, but, but for us as Christians who are very specifically uh, devoted to Christ, mm, the mm, person, mm. Um, I think it is a good time to also reflect. Okay. Um, like, like uh, in fact, I was just having this conversation with, with my wife today about, I mean, she was telling me about mm. how she has been taking time mm -hmm. every day uh, leading up to Christmas, mm -hmm. just meditating on, on Christmas, but on Christ. So we call it the Advent season. Okay. This year it started on November 27, actually. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I was, I was trying to write a little meditation for the church every day and okay. I failed. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I could not. But whenever I remember, I uh, just post a little thing on our mm -hmm. WhatsApp group. And just for people to, you know, uh, be quiet, mm -hmm. meditate, and just take time out from all our busyness. Mm -hmm. And uh, just turn our attention uh, to the one who we are actually celebrating, mm, mm. And right. which, which is, you know, uh, wow. uh, mm. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And um, and I think I think that is one one good way for us to do that. It's it's a it's a long uh, uh, tradition of the church mm. Advent, mm. where it is it basically just means waiting. Mm. So oh, okay. learning to wait. Learning to wait mm. for the one who is coming, mm, mm. and I, I think that kind of prepares our hearts mm. for the actual Christmas. Mm. And okay. I think that this process, this journey that we take toward Christmas, mm. um, is what really gets us into the real spirit of the whole birth of Christ. Mm, mm -hmm. um, I think that's wow. important. So just learning to be quiet, mm -hmm. and I know we are all busy. Right. We have a lot of so many obligations, but but finding time to mm. just be quiet. Uh, wow. Mm. Th that was quite deep. And also I didn't know that Advent meant waiting. Yeah, it's just yeah. waiting. Yeah. And, and if, if people are interested, I think mm. some of the, uh, the prophecies of Isaiah about mm -hmm. Christ are really wow. good place to park mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, during this waiting period. Mm -hmm. uh, Isaiah has a lot of prophecies about Christ. Uh, okay. So... Uh, is in the Old Testament, okay. uh, oh, hundreds yes. of hundreds yes. of years before mm -hmm. Christ, mm -hmm. but his prophecies about the one who will come. Mm -hmm. uh, good stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. We pray a lot of things. Mm -hmm. One of the things people pray a lot about is mm -hmm. God do something. Okay. God do something. God do something. Mm -hmm. uh, God can do a lot of things, mm -hmm. but when we are not quiet and waiting, God can do a lot of things and we don't notice. Mm -hmm. It is only in the time of waiting and mm. preparing our hearts in a certain mm. way mm. that we begin to see when God does something. Wow. You know, I mean, Christ was born. And people fail to recognize mm, mm. who He was. Uh, because we're too yeah, busy with so, the world. Yeah, so, and we have our own agendas, we have our own, you know, perspectives. And, mm, mm. and so if we can just be quiet, mm. then uh, we see what God is doing. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I, I thought I would just share that. Yeah. Thank you so mm -hmm. much for that, Pastor. I think um, this this is not necessarily some of the socio political issues that we have discussed, <laughs> but this is something that has really taught me a lot, especially the whole idea of yeah. waiting. Yeah. I didn't know that yeah. that it would come to the end of the conversation yeah. and you learn a lot. Uh, 
I think we can say a lot of social political stuff mm. um, from Christmas as well. Mm, mm. Um, but that's that's a mm. different topic uh, for for another day. Um, how revolutionary um, mm. the birth of Christ is mm. and this whole person of Christ is mm, mm. and challenges I think our politics challenges the way we live our social lives right uh, our uh, you know economics right. e e everything and uh, but that's that's for another day <laughs> we well, hopefully uh, should there be any discourses that we would like to have especially in regard to uh, Christian traditions and yeah, of course yeah. how it melts into the social political fabric of the society then yeah. I think we'll certainly call you Thank you so much, uh, yeah, Pastor, yeah. for coming to our show. And please give my love to uh, Eva, Bobby, and then Nash. Nash is yeah, Nash yeah, there? Yeah. And uh, then he's, he's he's here and there. He's he's been quite busy. Um, mm. But yeah. It's, no, it's no. Good. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, no, no, and no, also yeah. Pastor Kevi. Yes, give I my love definitely, to them. Definitely, definitely. And yeah. thank you so much for coming. Thank to our you, show, thank Pastor. you for having me. I feel very honoured, and it's good to see you after thank a long you time. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'll yeah. see you guys in church also. Yeah, yeah, sure. Pastor Visas here, Kevichusa of Kingdom Culture Church. Ladies and gentlemen, while non-Christian associations or practices that may have been incorporated into Christmas celebrations may come in confrontation with traditional Christian beliefs, it is true that Christmas will always be the happiest time of any year, now and even in the future. For it is the time when a weary, broken world rejoices. A blessed and Merry Christmas to you all. I'm Al Nguli. See you next time.